Well, hi there. Welcome back. This video is going to be about upgrading your option list on your Trailblazer or Envoy or another GMT 360 body style. And we might work on other GM models too, but I haven't tested it or tried it. I've tried it on my own Trailblazer, so I'm going to do this video about my own car that I know is working. The reason for this is uh, my Trailblazer was sold new in Sweden, so it's a Euro model, as you can see behind me on the taillights, if you can see that in the video. Uh, and I guess they have some kind of, I don't know what to call it, but when you lock and unlock the car, there is no chirp from the horns. The light flashes, but there's no chirp. And on the DIC digital instrument, digital information center, there is an option to choose chirp, lights, or both. And even if I choose both, it would never chirp. The horns would never chirp. And I kind of want it to chirp because when I lock the car, I don't want to look back and see if the lights are flashing. I want to hear it locking the car when I push the remote, the key fob. So I started looking into that. So what, what can I do to fix that? First, first I thought it was the, something wrong with the uh, tailgate module because it's a Euro model and the uh, keyless entry is in the tailgate model module. So I bought one from eBay, put it in, same problem. And then I saw that the transmissions, the key fobs, they were different between the Euro model and the, U and the US model, the different sending frequency or whatever it's called. So I bought new key fobs, programmed them, but it was the same problem. And then I figured out, okay, it's gotta be in the BCM, body control module. So I had a couple of extra BCMs. So I started looking online for VIN numbers uh, that have similar options to my car, but was US models. So I thought I, maybe I can reprogram the BCM with a US software and get the chirp. And it worked. Actually, it worked. Programming the BCM from a different VIN number. Uh, the problem is to find the right one with all the right options. Uh, the first one I found that had a, kind of all my options, I tried to program it and the sunroof didn't work, which means the VIN number I programmed that from that, that car, it didn't have a sunroof. So if he, I guess the sunroof is controlled by the BCM. Uh, what I lost, because I'm using a a US VIN number, I no longer have the rear fog light that's standard on the Euro models. Uh, I don't care, I never use the rear fog lights and I'm gonna replace the rear lights anyway. And I also, the windshield, nay, the headlight washers are not working. But there's something I never use anyway. And most of the times they're broken. And if they're working, they use a shitload of washer fluid. So you empty the bottle faster using them. So I didn't care. But I get everything else of my options to work, including the chirp of the horns when I push the key fob. And I also got some extra options that I didn't have, like folding, uh, 
folding down the mirror when you put it in reverse. And there were some other things too, I don't remember right now. So this video is going to be about how to reprogram the PCM with a different VIN number. And I haven't tried, but I would guess that it would work with the power control module too, if, because the 06 and newer, they have a different fuel management system and a different engine or upgraded engine, let's say. I don't know if the PCM itself is the same, just a different program, but if the PCM is the same, it could be possible to put an 06 or newer engine in a, like an 02 trailblazer and then reprogram the PCM from a VIN number that's, that the engine come, came from, uh, like an 06, 07, 08 or 09. Like I said, we don't have a lot of trailblazers in the junkyard in Sweden, so I don't know if it's working. Maybe somebody can try and see if it works. But that would give you guys, especially you guys that have like an 02, 03 with a shot engine and you want a little bit more horsepower and you find an 06, 07 or 08 engine, the junkyard, and you want to put it in your 02, but you can't really do it because the power control module is different and how to control the, the fuel management is different. But if you can reprogram it with the VIN number from the, the junk car that the engine came from, then it would work. You, if you find an 09 engine with low mileage, you could put that in your 02 and just reprogram the PCM, the power control module. But this video is going to show you how to do it for the BCM to get more options if you want to. So just lean back and watch and enjoy. So thanks for watching. Okay, so it's like in the first video. You request all the info from the car. If you watch my first video about reprogramming the modules. You can see it there, how you hook it up and stuff. And it's a Chevy. And here's the important thing. No matter what year model your, VIN num your new VIN number coming from, you always select the year model of your car. So I have a 2002. That Envoy software I put in my BCM, I have no clue what year that Envoy was. So you pick a 2002 if you have one, if you have a 2004, you pick a 2004. And it's a light truck, it's a trailblazer, continue. Is the wind correct? Yes. Turn off ignition, disconnect tech tool from vehicle and connect to PC. Be right back. Now I got it hooked up here to my computer. And you select programming like I did the last time. Check the tech 2. It's still on. If the tech 2 turns off, it won't connect. And here it is. Here's my VIN number from my car. So, because I've done this before, see here, I tried a bunch of different VIN numbers. One of these I'm using. I know which one, I'm not telling you. So, <coughs> if you don't have any previous select VIN numbers, 
you can change it here. See here? So you type in the VIN number that you have. Like for example, if I pick this one, I'm not going to do any programming now. I'm just showing you. Because then I'm going to fuck up my BCM. But pick one of these, this one. And then you do next. And you get all the modules up. And you want to reprogram the body control module. It says truck, body control modules. You select that one. Next. And I got a lot of updates there. Oh, that's the calibration for vehicles without remote keyless. I have that. Uh, with remote keyless entry and RPO user 68. And without RPO, I have AAB, so it's not. And this is calibration for vehicles with remote keyless entry. So, for example, if you have the remote keyless entry, you choose this one and then you download it to the Tech 2. Here it says new calibration for any other term, blah 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 blah. Next, and because it's already. the current uh, calibration otherwise I would get up there to download it to the, to the tech tool so you can do that with any of these modules but don't think it's working with updating the software on your uh, in your ECU the powertrain control module because <coughs> they're different engines. You can't program a 2002 straight six with the software from a 2008, 2009 that had the horse, more eight or nine with the big horsepowers because they had a different system and they had a different head, different cam, different exhaust and the software was different so don't do that the only thing you should do with the powertrain control module is updating the stock one if they have any updates for whatever the only thing the only one the only module that's interesting is the BCM because the BCM the body control module controls so many different options in the car but like if you if you install a sunroof in your car and to get the sunroof to work you need to program the BCM from a VIN number that have a sunroof or you won't get it to work uh, I think it's the same with electric seats I'm not sure but folding mirrors you need a new program new software and also with the automatic HVAC you need new software it's a lot of different stuff that needs the software in the BCM so so that's kind of a tip that I don't know if they have it somewhere on YouTube but it is on there now or soon when I upload this video so I hope you like this one and if you have any questions or comments please do so below
and I try to answer all of you when I have time because I know uh, pretty much about this. I've been test and trial this for years so I kind of know what you can do and not do and also you need to have access to the TIS 2000 you can't just install the software on your laptop you have to be able to connect to the TIS 2000 server to be able to get any of these updates to the softwares my Tech 2 is from China and I bought it with a USB dong for the TIS 2000. I've had this for, let's see, 12, oh, about five years I've had this now. And TIS 2000 has worked the whole time. I do not try to update the TIS software or anything because that's I don't think that's possible so and I don't try to download any software to the tech tool as long as it's working you know if it ain't broke don't fix it so I'm not gonna do anything to jeopardize that it stops working because I also have my tow truck that's a Chevy and I do a lot of stuff with my Tech 2 and the TIS. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know. If you didn't enjoy it, let me know too. Thanks and bye.